Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Okay, so now that we've successfully covered this area of the cityscape with the shape tools and then created a mask so we can get rid of any unwanted area, we want to perfect it. As you can see, there's obvious areas that need to be covered up and the, some of the tools we can use, like the shape tools, will help very well and other tools will be needed to cover more complicated areas like this. So. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to use the shape tools to subtract pieces of the image. And then in the next video, I will show the uses of the pen tool. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom in onto the picture and I'm going to make it the actual size, which is huge. And I'm going to start all the way from the left. So we'll start with something really simple like this. This is a very well shaped area and we can use the shape tools to perfect our mask. So shape tool over here, we're going to click the rectangle tool. And one thing you want to make sure is that the top options panel, this tab right here, which is subtract from path area is selected. If you keep this one on, then you'll add more to the mask and we don't want to do that. So subtract from path area. And then we're going to click on this little area right here and create a square. And there you go. We've taken away from it. It's not entirely perfect, but it's pretty darn close. So we're going to do it again. And again. Not quite perfect, so we'll make another one. Actually, let's not make another one. Let's transform this one so we can fit it exactly. We're going to press A, and that is the selection tool. We're going to click the actual selection, then hold Command and press T. That makes it so we can transform the selection and move this over until it fits center. There we go. So to get back to the rectangle tool, you can press the U button and then we create another one. Once again, not entirely perfect. Commander control T. Oops, I'm sorry. Press enter. Press A. Select the square. Commander control T. Get as close as you can. Press enter. And you get the general idea. Now, what about these little areas right here where it's diagonal? Well, you can cover that, and the way we're going to do that is with the same tools. So, press U for the rectangle tool. Just create a random one. Okay. Now, with press A, select it. Command T to transform it. And we're going to rotate it. Now we're going to move it down here. We're going to actually take this little center piece, move it down to the corner right here, and continue to rotate until we get right on the money. And press enter. And there we go. Now we'll just add one more rectangle so we can cover this other space. And there we go. And you can just do that again. Now, something you can do to make your job a little easier is you can hold down Alt and press and click. And you can make another rectangle of the exact same angle and move it on to the space that you want. So we can continue to make the same thing. Alt click and drag. Move it over to this one. Do it again. And there you go. That gives you a general idea of how to use the shape tools for taking away parts of the mask. And you're going to want to do this for everything. And it's going to take, obviously, some time. So I'm not going to go through everything with you. I'm just going to show you the basics. And that one was one of the basics. So next, we're going to use the pen tool for a complicated shape like this one. 